Hey, Mr. Clash here, another three-star attack replay, and today we're looking at another Elite Gaming, uh, from the Elite Gaming War that I stopped in and had a look at. And this is a rather interesting attack because there are no golems brought in, but it is an air attack. And it's the heroes that are going to do all the work to take out one of the air defenses, as you, you see here at the beginning. A little bit high risk, taking on a queen and potentially a king at the same time with your king, especially... Trusting that the Archer Queen is going to do the right thing and try and help out. And in this case, she did help out, so that's a, that's a good thing. Now, obviously, with the cleaning of the wizards and coming in at that angle of the dangle and everything like that, the Archer Queen was going to eventually, at some point, get around to taking care of that air defense. It was just a matter of how she was going to go about it. Now, obviously, if you'd brought in a golem to take care of the air defense, that's just going to go down now. Um then that's six balloons that you can't bring in. So he's bringing in the, the Lava Hounds going right across the face of the weapons, just as you'd like them to do, to, to uh, clear the path for your balloons. Have a Rage Spell to get those balloons in firstly, and a Haste Spell as well to get them in, just so they can take care of that Tesla farm pretty rapidly. And then once the other Lava Hounds start to come in, again, going across the face of the weapons, every chance that you can get, that's uh, the air targeting weapons, of course, to try and collect balloons and um, collect balloons, collect bombs and things that are uh, air bombs, air seeking mines, that sort of thing, as well as distract the air targeting weapon to make a clear path for your balloons. Now, there was a witch in the clan castle that got triggered. Obviously, a witch can take out air things. So once an air thing gets nearby, the witch came out. And which is generally in the clan castle. They've never really been a bother for an air attack. Uh, back even in the day before all the, the uh, balloons had their increased speed and everything like it. Back in the first days when we had the lava hounds and people were doing two golem and one golem laloon attacks and things like that. The witches in the clan castle weren't really ever a bother. You'd lure the clan castle because you didn't know if there was a witch in there. But if you saw witches come out of the clan castle, you didn't need to drag them over to the side and kill them. Archers and wizards, yes, you certainly needed to drag those over, or they were a good thing to, do, to drag over. But uh, the witches, you never really worried about. You just carried on. Oh, witch, oh, don't worry about it. They can't do too much harm to my stuff. And away you'd go. And as would happen, the witches would just die throughout the course of the attack, just as the witch died here. Through the course of the attack, a little bit of splash damage, a little bit of stuff from the lava pups. So I'll have a look at this again. So now that you know what's going on here, Going to drop down the king and the queen to take care of the trash as well as a couple of wizards to help speed up the process. Otherwise, the king will go down way too fast. Jump spell for the king. Now, you notice that the king doesn't, he's not really in a rush to hit the queen these days. It seems he needs to be shot at twice. And it's only when his barbarians rush over to the queen that he actually decides to go over and lend a hand. Otherwise, he seems to be quite happy to just bash whatever it is he's bashing. I've noticed that on uh, attacks myself where I've got the king in a situation and take out the queen in a similar fashion. Double poison for the clan troops. Obviously, little barbarians will come out. Dragon slowed right down. Queen special ability to make sure that she's got as much health as she can. No point taking a breath from a dragon and then doing the special ability. Might as well do the special ability straight away. Archers distract the dragon. Helps the queen live a little bit longer. And now, again, with the lava hounds coming over the face of the air targeting weapons. A few red balloon bombs on the outside, but that's not too much. Not going to be too detrimental. As you know, it's already a three star, so it's not detrimental. Next Lava Hound coming in on that top air defense triggers an air skelly trap, and uh, those other balloons trigger air skelly traps. And one Lava Hound left up the sleeve, and that one's coming in nicely now as well. So following the general rule of thumb of old school type air attacks and that is to always bring one more lava hound than you have air defenses left after your initial push into the base so there were three air defenses left so you bring four lava hounds and as you can see the four lava hounds came in very very handy just popped at that last moment and that's the ideal situation where the lava hound pops just as you take out the last air shooting weapon and that gives you maximum pups for maximum speed of cleanup around the base and always holding on to a loon or two if you can to provide additional cleanup around the edges. If you'd brought a golem in to help, you wouldn't have had those extra cleanup loons or things like that. It just would have been a little bit more difficult to uh, three-star the base. So I wouldn't have done this attack either unless you had maxed heroes. You would have needed max heroes to do that sort of attack. 
anything less than maxed heroes and that first air defense wouldn't have gone down then you would have been taking on four air defenses with four lava hounds and the raid probably would not have been a success anyway before i sign off today i just need to ask you one little question what do computers eat for a snack microchips <laughs> Anyway, that's it for today's video. Thank you for sticking around to the end and through my awful little joke as well. Please leave the video a like, a comment. Let me know what you thought. Please share the video with your friends. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next video.